when you get into WinCam, there's three different um, windows to work in. There's the CAD CAD file here. There's the CAM file, computer-aided machining, where you write your code. And then there's the machining code here, or machining section, which you only use on the uh, main computer. Now what I've done, I'm over here in the CAM section, and I have selected that we are going to use the 1 8 inch end mill. And that's the one that we're going to primarily use, unless I've given you permission otherwise. So I hit OK on that. And the, the black guidebook should have told you a little bit about these menus. We're going to choose the double arrow left to right. And I'm going to bring the drill bit over, and I'm going to test this one spot. And that spot is too small for the drill bit to pass through. And that's a common problem. There's ways to check this in AutoCAD. Uh, but sometimes you may not know until you have the drill bit um, actually here in your file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and make some adjustments on AutoCAD and then re-import this. And that'll be a good review. So I'm back in AutoCAD. I'm going to take this circle, and this needs to be bigger. This is going to be the, the easiest adjustment. And I'm going to make sure my object snap is off. And I can just drag it out about as close to the border as I can get and then I just hit save it's already working in my DXF file I go back to WinCam and I'm just gonna import it again don't need to save anything hit OK and you can see this thing automatically got bigger I'm gonna turn on my spindle I'm gonna make sure the 1 8 drill bit is being used I'm gonna go to the pocket mill icon and I'm going to check on the, the drill bit again. I'm going to choose the left and right movement and I'm going to drop it in. It still looks a little tight so I'm going to zoom in on that section and you can see now that there is clearance. Even though it's touching in this top it's, it would still clear it um, if we were to write the code. So I'm going to zoom back out. While I'm at it I'll just zoom in on the shape. We're going to choose pocket mill and I'm going to pick the outside border and then I'm going to hit the green check I'm going to choose the inside border and then I'm going to choose the green check twice so that's what a pocket is I'm leaving an area inside of a cut untouched the black binder had some settings in here and um, they can change from part to part material to material but for the most common cuts, the white plexiglass and the blue wax, um, it's a, a half an inch deep. So you can go down about um, a quarter of an inch, so that's 0.25. That's fine. If you want to go a little bit less, that's fine. I, th I personally think the, the 1.5 depth looks, looks good. It's not too deep, um, but you can still see the part. ZT represents how, many, how much depth per pass, and that's at 0.05. So it's going to take three passes to get to our 1.5 depth. Uh, you don't need to worry about RESE -E or SA. Those values are, are um, th by default fine. Um, FT is the rate of the drill bit going down into your part. It's just a minimal movement. It's on the Z axis. And um, you can leave that at 10. Um, 15 to 20 is even fine if it speeds it up, but again, it's very minimal. FF is the main factor for speed, and we can go anywhere from 10 to 20. If you're using the, the dense plexiglass, the green, the red, or the clear, you want to stay around 10 to 12 um, feet per second of movement. If you're using the softer materials, the white plastic or the wax, you can go all the way up to 20 feet per second, so I'll hit in 20. And S is spindle speed. And you can type in, the book says 15, uh, 1,500 revolutions per second. You can leave it at that. You can type in 2,000. That's, they're both fine. Uh, harder the material, the faster the revolutions. Softer the material, you have to be careful that it doesn't melt and, and create some weird shapes. Um, so I have a couple high speeds on here, and this should be fine. So you just hit OK, and it should cut out and give you a little preview of what's going to be cut out. So you may have noticed that I accidentally cut out this circle. 
that we wanted to leave in there. We wanted that raised. And this is a good um, opportunity to show you how to, to fix those yourself if you have an issue. And um, in the past few years teaching this, we've had uh, a lot of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit Edit Undo. I'm going to take all that code out, those red lines, those cut lines are going to be gone. So I'll just hit Edit Undo. Not a big deal. And I just need to remember when I go back through to select all the parts that I want to be left. So this is my outside border. This is my inside border. I'm going to hit the green check. I just need to remember to hit this circle too now. And then I do the double check on the green. And I bring up my menu again. A lot of the, the values that we, that we entered are still there. One, uh, 0 0.15, 0 0.05, so three passes to get to that depth. Uh, FT we left at 10. FF we can type in at 20. And spindle speed we can do 2,000 revolutions a second. And then I'll hit OK. And there is the cut that we wanted. I'm going to hit save. So what I'm doing now is I'm saving this this file, the AutoCAD import plus the Camine code that I've written into it. And this is going to be a, um, a DFM file that only WinCam can read, DFM. So I'm just going to hit save on that. We have to write one more part of code. So I'm going to click on pocket mill again and I'm going to select this circle double click all of my values are left in there so if you have a lot of pockets multiple pockets it's a very quick process once you enter in your first set and you just hit OK and it cuts that out and I'm going to hit save so this would be a completed file that you now can log in over at the main computer next to the mill and um, open this up you open it up through the WinCam program only and then at, at that point I need to come over and do what's called touching off or referencing the machine and uh, make sure the part is set at the right height and the, the bit is set at the right depth.